Hey everybody, CR Media Gal here, also known as Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. Today, in an effort to get myself back into the swing of posting videos again, as well as to hopefully ease my way back into showing myself online again, I touched on this briefly in my last video, and maybe at some point I will discuss it further with you. I am going to be doing a try-on haul from the brand Buckle. I'd actually been shopping at the mall with my nieces and my sister recently, and they apparently really enjoy this shop. I know they've been around for a while, and I've admittedly walked by uh, this shop at the mall a number of times and just never went in. It's not that I didn't think things were cute in there, but I don't know, I guess it just never really captured my interest before. But, oh my gosh, I am so in love with so much of what Buckle carries. And they carry a number of different brands like umbrellaed underneath theirs, including free people. At my local location, however, they didn't have a lot of larger sizes. So there wasn't a whole lot I could actually try on in person, which at first bummed me out. But then I decided to get online and sure enough, I was able to find a lot of stuff in larger sizes, including plus size. You have to do some digging. They don't actually have a plus size section, but they do carry some larger sizes. So I thought it would be worth actually doing um, a substantial haul of things that I was interested when I in trying on in person that I couldn't and let you know my honest opinions like I always do on this channel. If you are interested in this type of content, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. And yeah, let's get into my first impressions of this brand that I really don't hear a lot of people talking about and seems to be going under the radar. Buckle. <music> that I got. I got quite a few, mainly flannels and sweatshirts. And then I think there's one top in here that I am questioning whether it's going to fit because there was only like a few left in a large. It would probably typically be an extra large right now. So it's questionable. And then I do have one accessory here. These adorable, you know, animal skull earrings. So I'm gonna try those out as well. There are no bottoms because I'm not in the mood to try any bottoms on. Right now I've gained some weight and it's just gonna depress me <laughs> even more. So it's just gonna be sweatshirts and tops this go around and one accessory. When I tried to find a lot of this stuff in person at my local buckle, everything in the larger sizes was sold out. Even this top, I tried this on in maybe a medium and it was way too tight. Yeah, let's try all this cute, adorable Southwest style stuff on from Buckle and I will let you know what I think and what I'm gonna keep, what I'm not gonna keep. You can also give me your opinions down in the comments. Mila is here. She might be a sounding board in the moment or she might take a nap, but I guess we're just gonna have to deal with the edging that's going on. My neighbor's house, it's really loud. Um, hopefully it won't interfere too much. Poor Mila here is like having a freaking meltdown. It's okay. Let's try on my buckle stuff and you can be my sounding board. You can let me know what looks good and what doesn't, okay? Help mommy out. So starting out with the brand Gilded Intent, like I said, a lot of what Buckle carries is not just their brand, but a number of brands uh, umbrellaed underneath them. And this is one of them. You're gonna notice a ton of flannels in this haul. So if that's not really your thing, I apologize, but I've been needing to add some of these to my wardrobe for quite some time. I have like one tartan plaid flannel that I got, I think on sale major sale last year from, gosh, what was it? Was it American Eagle maybe, I think? But in any case, I've been needing to add more variety of colors, mainly because I have the idea to layer a lot of these underneath like sweatshirts and sweaters and other tops and things like that. So this one I thought was super adorable. I love the different colors. It's very fallish. Um, for the sake of the video, I, kept all of the cuffs buttoned, but normally I would roll the sleeves up a little bit. But yeah, I loved this one, fit perfectly. Got it in an XL. And then 
I had to get this Johnny Cash pullover sweater. It's so soft, but actually quite lightweight. And as a matter of fact, the XL was huge on me, surprisingly. I felt like the XL in most of these items uh, was the right size to go with, but this is one case where I probably could have sized down. So if you're interested in this sweatshirt and you are around my size, I'm roughly a 14 on top, you could probably try out the large and you would be fine. But yeah, I had in mind to wear it with this flannel underneath it. Um, as a matter of fact, the other flannels that I got in this haul would go well with it too. So yeah, I like that it, it's nice and lightweight that I can wear it on its own or I can layer underneath it and not be like too hot or constricted or anything like that. So yeah, I've, I've been needing a Johnny Cash print in my life. So it's about time I got one. Then I got this Goody Two Sleeves XL <laughs> vintage motorbike shirt. I loved the sequence on the sleeves. I don't know, the, something about that just made me smile. But as I previously mentioned, I tried this on in store and I actually think I tried it on in the large and it was just a smidge too tight around my stomach area. I have unfortunately gained a little bit of weight. So as you can see here, even in the XL, it's still just, just a smidge tight. Um, but normally I would opt to tuck this in anyway. Um, it's super cute, very, um, again, lightweight. Everything in this haul, by the way, everything is so soft and so cozy and comfortable, which I'm all about these days. So yeah, I thought this was a fun, like vintage little top, but um, I ended up going with a different one instead. And I'll show you that here in a bit. Next up is another flannel. And this one is from BKE, which I believe is only sold at Buckle. And let me tell you, I love so much of what that particular brand carries. This flannel is probably a little bit heavier than the first one I tried on, but so, so sticking comfortable. I actually wore this uh, to run errands in the other day and uh, I, it was like the perfect amount of weight. Like it's, it's a good mix between like a shacket and a flannel. I'd say it's not quite a shacket, but it's not as lightweight as a flannel. It's like the perfect in-between. But I loved the colors in this, the mustard yellow, the bright yellow, and I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up on camera very much, but there's a little bit of light pink in there too. It's just so, so sweet. So I definitely decided to keep this flannel. It goes with so much in my wardrobe. Um, and then <laughs> With all of these, I tried to show you guys uh, the half French tuck, which I know is in, but also that's how I tend to wear a lot of tops like these anyway. So just another option for you. But yeah, I do highly recommend this flannel. Um, the colors are just so much fun. And then this one really surprised me. This is another one from BKE. It's a pullover sweater in this sort of like grayish black acid wash but the stitching on it is so interesting. And I got it in the XL and it fits perfectly over the flannel. I was half worried trying to layer a bunch of things together in this haul that like it would fit me as an XL, but that if I wanted to wear anything underneath, it would just be too tight. And I'm just so pleasantly surprised by how everything fits. Fits really, really well. And I will show you this sh shortly without the flannel underneath it, so you can still get a good idea. But I loved this so much more than I thought I would. It's just so comfy and cozy and you can button it up there and wear it around your neck or you can wear it open. I like that it's quite versatile for being as casual as it is. And I can see myself running errands in something like this or wearing it out and about and dressing it up a little bit if I want to. Um, so this one surprised me quite a bit. I thought of, you know, uh, some of the things that I bought in this haul, that might be something that would go back, but it's just versatile and comfy enough that I just couldn't leave it behind. Now this, <laughs> this is from La La Land, I believe, yeah. La La Land is the brand with the sequence on the shoulders 
This just captured my heart when I saw it in store and I was so bummed because so many of the sizes were sold out. There were no larges, there were no extra larges. So I immediately had to look this one up online. But this one also has the vintage motorcycle print, only it's on the back. Um, and again, it's kind of a mixture of a flannel, but it's not just a flannel. You know, it's got the fun like fading on it, the sequins on the shoulders, the motorcycle print on the back. There's a lot going on. So I like that you could just layer with it if you truly wanted to, or obviously it's a standout piece on its own that you could just wear it as is like I am here. I just thought this was so fun. And I think compared, this one compared to the motorcycle t-shirt that I tried on earlier, there was, I just thought this was more unique and one that I would get a lot more wear out of it because there's a couple different ways I can wear it. So I ended up going with this one over the t-shirt one, but the t-shirt one too is very cute. It just depends on, you know, what's gonna work for your wardrobe. Now, this one is a Wrangler hoodie. Um, it's actually a cropped hoodie but that has that like um, stretchy band at the bottom that you can pull tighter or pull looser, however you wish. I was curious to try this on um, and it is quite comfy and cozy. It's also quite lightweight too. So it's not perfect for, you know, winter time um, on its own, but you know, for like fall time, it's, it's nice. However, compared to like all the other fun stuff that I tried on in this haul, this was kind of just meh to me. It was also full price too. So I had a feeling I wasn't gonna keep it regardless, but uh, it was like $89 and I'm sorry. I, I guess you're just paying for the Wrangler brand if you're gonna pay that much, but I would never, <laughs> I would never pay $90 for a hoodie like this. I, I just think that is, absolute insanity. I, I tried it on for the sake of the video, plus I was just curious to see what might be so special about it and I didn't find anything, all that um, invigorating about it that would be worth that price. Then I tried on these steer skull earrings that were on sale for 10 bucks. I think these are so fun. Very Western or I should say Southwest kind of style which I have some of that in my wardrobe. So I, I, those are so adorable, I love them. Then this was the top from Hurley that I was worried wasn't going to fit. And as you can see in the try on, it, it's a little ill-fitted at the top, but I ended up messing with it a little bit and uh, it worked out a lot better than I thought I, it would. Cause this was the only item in this haul that was a large, not an extra large. So I was just, really concerned that it was gonna to be too tight. Now it is totally fitted on me as you can see here, but it's so soft and so comfy. I actually wore this out too the other day with the yellow plaid flannel from BKE and it was just perfect. I got so many compliments on it. Um, I loved the design on this, which is why um, I wanted to buy this. I love those tigers on the front. I don't know, something about that makes me think of like anthropology or some, some very kind of like high-end fashion brand like that. So yeah, I thought this was so cute. Um, and surprisingly it, it fit. I did not expect it to. So that, that made me very happy. And then I believe this might be the last one in this haul. I wanted, I was dying to try this on in person when I saw it, but of course all the larger sizes were sold out. So I was happy to see they had an XL available online. I just think this is such a fun sweater. I loved the sort of splattered paint print, but then it has like the whiskey distillery print on the front with that fun, like, I guess, are they, I guess like bangles at the bottom. And I didn't even notice the like V cut hem, but I thought that was also like, Super interesting, just made it a little bit unique and a little bit different. Again, it's very Southwest, which I, I, I don't have a ton of this at the moment, but I'm, it's so comfortable and lightweight. And I know I'm just repeating myself here, but I just, I, I'm falling more and more in love with this kind of Southern style. I just, I, I loved this. So, and loved it even more in person than I thought I would. So I wanted to make sure to show you that it is 
you know, nice and fleecy on the inside, but it's not heavy at all. It's so, so cute. Even if uh, Mila suggesting otherwise. And this was me crying, saying help me because I ended up loving so much more of everything than I expected. Alright y'all, I hope you enjoyed this first impressions video of me trying all this stuff on. I'm on a budget. I can't keep all this stuff. The definites that I am going to keep though, this one I'm actually surprised about is this whiskey one. I mean, I thought the print was cute to begin with when I saw it in store, but it's so lightweight and soft and comfortable on and just such a fun print. Like I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe, so I have to keep that. I am going to keep the two flannels because they're versatile enough that they can go with a number of things in my closet, plus pretty much anything that I tried on here today. So I'm gonna keep these two flannels, and then I am gonna keep this cute Walk the Line Johnny Cash sweatshirt. It goes perfectly, particularly with this one, but you know, it would go with the yellow as well. I mean, so versatile, love that. I'm glad I tried this on in an XL because it does fit better, but it is a little bit tight around my hips, which makes me more self-conscious about wearing it. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna send that one back. I do love this flannel with the sequins on the shoulders and this print in the back, this vintage motorcycle design. I love that so much. And you know, if I didn't want to wear sequins and just wanted to layer with this flannel, it's different enough from these two as well that I could use it to layer underneath other things. So this one I'm on the fence about. It is a lot of fun. I mean, I needed some flannels, but like could afford to go without this one. It can be a staple or it can be a layering item, which is kind of really unique and not something again that I have in my closet. So that one's a maybe. I was initially gonna maybe this one as well, but it's so soft and so comfortable. And just to have something other than like a hoodie to run errands in, something that's a little more elevated and put together, and yet it's just super comfortable and easy to wear. I think I gotta keep this one. I think y'all guessed this Wrangler hoodie is absolutely gonna go back. I just don't like how it looks on me. Of all the different sweaters that I tried on, I think this was, not the cutest. So this one's definitely gonna go back. And then I'm undecided about this shirt. I was so excited that this fit, that it has some stretch to it. And I, I actually just thought it would grow great layered with this flannel or this flannel or even this one, like it would, it would be perfect. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to keep this. I mean, this was on sale. Yeah, this one's gonna stay. But my God, I thought I would be returning more than that. <laughs> I really should return this. Oh, but it's so fun. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. <laughs> Which one should I keep? Which ones should I return? But I am officially a Buckles fan. I love their stuff. And I love different styles that they carry. They definitely have a general overall theme of more like a Southwest style, but some of their stuff is more, you know, alternative and edgy, you know, cowgirl, cowboy specific. They're a little all over the map, but like you can definitely mix and match so much of what they carry. And I really do like that. Everything I tried on here today was super soft and comfortable. 12 out of 10 for that. So I hope you enjoyed this little try on of Buckle, a new brand to me, probably not new to some of you, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up before you go. I'd really appreciate it. And be sure to subscribe below if you would like to see more videos like this from me. I used to do a lot of them in the past. I'm slowly, like I said at the beginning of this video, trying to get back into the swing of showing myself on camera. So this was the best I could do for now but hopefully you'll start to see more of my actual face in the future. Also, I know we're all into Christmas mode at this point, so I do have a Christmas decor haul coming for you. So if that interests you at all as well, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss it. Anyway, I hope you are all doing well wherever you are, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye.